Hello everyone out there in beauty world. My name is Carolyn Braden and today we are going to be using this Revlon Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler hairbrush and dryer combo. I've been using my Dyson Styler this for a while and I love it because you can make it be a hairbrush, you can make it be a curling iron, you can make it be all kinds of things. But I was really curious to know if something that costs five hundred dollars was worth it when I could just go and buy something that was about fifty dollars I think this was less than that because I bought it on sale at Target so today we're gonna see what we think of this styling tool and if it's worth it let's see how it does on my somewhat thick short hair today and I'm growing out this pixie cut so this will really really tell me if this is a good tool or not because I have a lot of different length hairs. So let's unbox this beauty. This thing has got some good weight to it. A lightweight ergonomic design and multiple heat settings. So that should be neat. And it's got boar bristles it looks like and plastic bristles. So that's supposed to help with lift and smooth volume. Here's what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. It's, yeah, it feels really good. It's actually, though, a little bit heavier than my Dyson. Is The Dyson is a little bit more lightweight than this one. Comes with a little booklet that tells you about it. Oh, it says you can be now part of our research panel and get a free styler. <gasps> yes, please, free products. So let's see, it's intended for household use only and it won't be used in salons because you can't clean this the way they can clean brushes. It says that you're never supposed to wrap it like this, but just kind of let it go freely. Okay, that sounds about right. I can do this and let's plug this baby in. So I already am thinking that this is probably going to take a little bit longer to use it by itself. So I have it all plugged in and let's get to work. It's got like a little dial on the bottom. So the first dial is cool and then low and then high. So I need to probably do it, it says on high, on high heat for thick, coarse hair, but my hair is short. So I'm gonna start it off in low and see how it does and then transition to high if it's not drying fast enough and then to lock in the style, use the cool setting. But right now I'm telling you, this is definitely louder than the Dyson. Let's try it low. All right, I know this too. If you're tender headed, the this can be kind of hard um, for short haired people. So if you're pressing kind of hard, I can tell you right now that these are kind of um, hard on your head. So I'm gonna do it with maybe a little bit of a lighter touch. I was thinking maybe one side was longer bristles than the other, but I really don't think that. I think they're the same. So let's continue on low setting. Okay, I will be here all day if I continue to do this on a low setting. So I definitely think a good tip is if you're gonna buy this, dry your hair maybe with another dryer first for just a little while, and then come and use this for more of a styling option. Um, but let's try it on the high setting just to see. So it's doing a pretty good job on the high setting. Uh, one thing that it doesn't have that the Dyson does is the Dyson has multiple heat settings. So if it gets a little too hot, you can always turn it down a little bit. Um, and you can turn the fan on three different settings. This one only comes out hot. There's no like medium heat. Um, there is a cool setting of course, but I can tell you right now that the high is in the low there it's it's a very warm heat which is good because it'll probably get your hair dried fast 
but it's kind of hot. So let's continue on high. I forgot to use some styling product. I'm gonna get my Olaplex. So this is with no product in it at all. Um, so it's starting to get just like a little bit frizzy. I usually use Olaplex uh, Bond number six, Bond Smoother. And I like, I love Olaplex. I was introduced to it over a year ago and ever since using it, my hair, all of the different sham the shampoos, conditioners, and oils, my hair has been in much better shape. And I use a Bond number seven, the bonding oil, Olaplex number seven bonding oil. And it's a very lightweight oil. Prevents my hair from frizzing up. I will say this, that this tool is giving my hair lots of volume. So if you're looking for volume, this is definitely a good tool for that. Okay, let's continue. Now we have it on a low setting. getting stuck under my fake fingernails. <laughs> now I'm gonna finish and settle the style that my hair's kind of fallen into on a cool setting, which is like high power air, but it's still cool air. And we're done. My overall take on this is that it's very substantial. It's not too heavy. I'd, I'd say that if you have like arthritis in your hands or your hands are a little bit weak, it's like it's a little bit heavy. I'd say maybe three pounds or so. I don't know, maybe a little heavier. It is easy to hold on to. Um, if you're tender headed, these bristles might be a little bit too hard for you. It might take some getting used to. I have thick hair, so it took my hair a little bit longer to dry. If you have more fine hair, it might take less time. Uh, the only thing that styling wise that I'm not super happy about is the hair on my neck. Usually when I use uh, the Dyson, it doesn't make my hair flip up. It um, actually is easier to grab onto and make this curl under. And this one being as large as it was, was really hard to get under there and flip the hair back the other way. Do I like it? My take is yes. I do like it. It's definitely not my Dyson. My Dyson, I can change out different heads and do different speeds and heat temperatures, but is this a good alternative if you are just looking for something to make your hair more sleek and voluminous? Yes, I think it is a good buy. I'm actually probably gonna gift this to my mom because I know she was trying to look for some kind of a good dryer to dry her long, fine hair. And 
I think this would be a very good option. Uh, I don't, her hair tangles very easily and I don't think that her hair would tangle in this. I do think it can dry your hair out if you keep it on the high heat setting for a long period of time, but that's the same with any dryer. If you, if you dry your hair constantly on high heat, your hair is gonna dry out. That's just an obvious thing. So that's why I definitely recommend using some kind of a bond smoother or some kind of a cream to help reduce any frizz. I don't think any dryer is going to reduce frizz 100%, but I think this is a pretty good tool. I think it's worth the money, and if you can get it on sale, it's even better. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with I'm happy with my hair. I think it's a, a, a good t tool for short hair. I also think this would work really good for long hair. Overall, I think this could be a really good buy, and I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, do so now. And if you turn on notifications, your little bell, it will let you know, YouTube will let you know whenever I post new videos, and I hope you watch and enjoy them. If you'd like to see any other videos, if you have any ideas, questions, or comments, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll get back with you as soon as I get a chance. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Visit Carolyn's Blooming Creations.com